Hello, you're wrong, and so now we know Hugh Edwards is a convicted paedophile and has been sentenced today. What has he been sentenced to? Well, it's six months suspended for two years. Sex offenders register for seven years and he needs to take some kind of uh, sexual offences rehabilitation program for 25 with 25 sessions so that's what he's been sentenced to but let's have a look at what actually we know so hugh edwards i'm gonna ask you a question do you believe him to be another bbc savile didn't arrive in court in a suit it was just a shirt and a jumper so he must have known ahead of time that he wasn't going to go dan uh, so, why? Well, the magistrates, I thought, would send it to a Crown Court for sentencing simply because he could have had three years or more, so it would have to go to a Crown Court, but it didn't. So, when it didn't, when we knew that it wasn't going to go to Crown Court, we knew that the maximum he was going to get was possibly 12 months, but was it going to be suspended? It was just a standard process of, of going to the magistrate's court and allowing the magistrates, normally three of them, to make the decision and determine the proportionate and appropriate sentence, which is seemingly what they've done. He is now a convicted sex offender. He pleaded guilty early doors. But this managed narrative, I've been watching the BBC's coverage, reportage, if you will, all morning. And it was all about rehabilitation, rehabilitation, rehabilitation. Well, they let Savile die. And I'll just remind you that in one instance, Jimmy Savile raped an eight year old child, female, on BBC premises. And what did the BBC do? Nothing. Nothing. Savile was allowed to rape an eight-year-old girl on BBC premises and they didn't do anything. So their, their head boy, their lead newsreader, newscaster, if you wish, and the man, the go-to for all of the big events. Uh, what has the BBC done? Uh, give us 200 grand back. Why did they pay him in the first place? Why didn't they sack him with immediate effect without being paid? Oh, the mental health card. But I will get to that again in a moment. So we'll look at what's happened this morning and previously, and then we'll look at my take on everything. So Hugh Edwards paid for 377 indecent images. Some say up to £1,500. 41 images included children. Now, not only were they as young as seven and the worst grade images, which could have involved penetration. Most of them were for 13 to 15 year old children. So this man convicted, convicted. Edwards is quoted as saying in what came out of court today that some of the images were, and I quote, because it was released by the court, amazing. Can you remember the, uh, it was about a year ago, July 2023, when The Sun published uh, the that uh, an unnamed presenter was involved in receiving now, I think the technicality within court was if you download an image, you are creating the child sexual abuse images. So if you download it, you're creating. And that was the, the legal technicality that they used today. But in July 2023, he was the unnamed presenter and it only came out. And I will get to this as part of my roundup and the outcomes. But remember his wife. Yeah, her. She said that he would deal with all of these allegations when he was well enough to do so. So they knew there was a shed load of brown stuff coming behind what was going on then. But he played the mental health card very good. So there was a lot of narrative control going on. There was a lot of image protection going on. And the BBC apologised... I'm not sure they were quick enough um, and they've 
apologised because they weren't quick enough to the complaint from the parents of the boy that Edwards paid, remember, 35 grand for images. 35 Gs. So he's not rehabilitated. That's his MO, modus operandi. So the narrative in the reporting this morning, he was at medium risk of reoffending. Medium risk. His barrister in court was saying, oh, uh, low risk, low risk, Your Honour. And then the BBC was reporting some psychosexual um, person had said, uh, well, he's uh, medium risk. Medium risk. It's not bad, is it? Convicted. Child sexual offender. Now, the BBC, as I've said a moment ago, were more bothered about the 200 grand than they were about him being a convicted child sexual predator. Because the word predator needs to be used. He is quoted as saying that some of the child sexual abuse images that he downloaded onto his phone were amazing. So why were the BBC more, more bothered about the money? Is it because the BBC is chocked full of child sexual abuse predators? Oh, I wonder. So because it was at the magistrates, he couldn't face any more than a year inside. He was profoundly sorry. Was he profoundly sorry for what he had done? Or was he profoundly sorry because he got found out? He got caught. And, and, and this might never have come to light if the Sun hadn't published their story. Now, there are some left-wing left -wing commentators, if I can say that correctly, in social media who were like, oh, he's an innocent man, he's an innocent man, he's an innocent man. Well, I wonder what they're going to say today. Mate. Chief Mag Magistrate Paul Goldspring said that his reputation was in tatters. It was, it was in tatters long before now. Edwards seemingly has no memory of these images. Oh, that's a bit convenient. He, sp he spunks 35 grand or 1,500 pounds on stuff that he downloads on his phone. And he, uh, well, I, I can't remember, Your Honour. Uh, I can't recollect. It's all because he's got issues with mental health, seemingly. The wife said that. The wife said he's going to deal with these allegations when he's well enough to do so. Is he well enough today, then? Because it seems that it's been swept under the carpet. And now that he's a proven child sexual abuse predator, is this going to be swept under the carpet? What's he going to do? Bugger off to Wales now and like leave it there for a couple of years and, and, and not resurface. Oh, me and the wife's divorce. That's reputational management. That is right there. I quote from the court case this morning, any sexual gratification is difficult to assess. Are these people off their chumps? I mean, he's he's calling the, the images amazing. Some as young as seven. Some including penetration. The worst kind of images that you can categorise. And the, the chief magistrate says... And I quote again, any sexual gratification is difficult to assess. What was he doing it for then? What was he going to do? Print them off and put them on the wall for a bit of entertainment. A psycho psychosexual therapist says Edwards had a difficult childhood. Oh, yeah, man. Foxtrot Oscar. Who hasn't had a difficult childhood? Oh, you know, I'm just seeing this and I, I just want the court to be lenient because I'm not very well. My mental health and I had a difficult childhood. Oh, man, here. Yeah. In the words of the great Chinese philosopher, how do we end shite, man? Now, he's been sentenced to six months, suspended for two years. He's been ordered to take a sexual offender programme with 25 sessions. That's obviously to show he's contritious. And then he's on the sexual offenders register for seven years. So certain things pop to my mind. One, any BBC investigation around child sexual abuse, whether it's Savile et al or Edwards, there's never an outcome. The BBC are talking about the 200 grand that they want him to pay back. Not that he's been downloading heinous, horrible, 
filthy images of kids. Sexual abuse images of kids. So it's acceptable in the BBC? It must be, because the only thing they're after is the 200 grand that they paid him. Again, I reiterate, the wife has said Edwards would deal with the allegations when well enough to do so. And eh, uh, eh, uh, nothing. Nix, nada, nout. Absolutely bugger all, nothing. They're all lying through their back teeth. He played the mental health card. Well done, Hugh. Well done. Now, this man is a danger to society, proportionate and appropriate. He is a danger to children. He is a danger to children that are being abused. He's just paying for the images. But he's a danger to society. That man has an attraction to children. I'll say that again. Hugh Edwards, convicted child abuse prelator, has an attraction to children. That's why he wanted the amazing images of seven-year-olds and 13-year-olds and 15-year-olds, because they're all kids. Take all of that into consideration. Tweet about economic migrants and you get three years inside. Pay 35 grand to dance with rent boys and 1,500 quid as we are being told, it's at least hundreds for images of children that have been abused. Filth. Tweet about economic migrants, you get three years. Hugh Edwards, walk free from court. So, welcome to two-tier justice. Welcome to Sakir Starmer's version of Britain. <laughs>